Now, I suspect this is the Silver Meteor, which went into service in 1939 as the first diesel-powered streamliner between New York and Florida. It was the flagship train of the Seaboard Airline Railroad, and after the merger, the Seaboard Coastline. Pulling the train southbound is an E-8A, engine 594. The train utilized the Pennsylvania Railroad from New York to Washington. From Washington to Richmond, it traveled the rails of the Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac. Speaking of the RF&P, note the car in the center of your screen. South of Richmond, the train ran on home rails through the capital cities of Raleigh and Columbia, then almost due south from there to Savannah and on into Jacksonville. According to the Seaboard Coastline timetable dated December 11, 1970, train number 57, the Silver Meteor, had a scheduled arrival time of 3.05 in the afternoon at Fort Lauderdale. A round-trip coach fare from New York to Fort Lauderdale would set you back $110 back then. The Tavern Observation Lounge had a distinctive style. RS3 fans, you have not been forgotten. With a quick beat at Elko 1161. The RS3s were quite common in South Florida during this time period. And they made such a beautiful sound when idling and starting up. The Railroad Time Capsule. Now returns you to your present year. Where will the railroad time capsule land next? Why not subscribe and find out?